Here I'm joined by UNICEF Chief of Bruno Field Office, Fong T. Ngoyang. Hello, Fong. Thank you so much for joining me on the news. Hello, good evening. Thank you for having me. All right, so uh, can you tell us more about the uh, initiatives that have contributed to the successful reintegration of over 2,000 children associated with armed groups in Nigeria by the UNICEF? Absolutely. And uh, I'd like to, to say that uh, the day of 12 February is uh, a day where we commemorate uh, the prevention and use of child soldiers in, in armed conflict. And so we commemorate this day because we want to make sure that children are prevented from being recruited and to be used by armed groups in any conflict. And some of the success that we've had so far has to do with the case management, whereby children who are released into the uh, civilian, um, the Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Development, they, they are first reach uh, the transit center whereby through case management, they are identified with the types of needs they, they have, such as psychosocial support need, vocational needs, and so forth. They go through health screening and they are provided with the services. So all of this is the start of the case management. The next step is really about family tracing to, to find out where these children are from, where are their communities and homes of origins, and then through the course of this, while they're getting their health screening, their, their basic uh, literacy and numeracy skills, the psychosocial support and mm -hmm. mental health, then when the time that they return and release to go back to their communities, they would have already started with education and they can seamlessly be integrated back into the basic education system within their communities. So, oh. so these are some of the success of our reintegration support oh, to the government. All right, uh, Fong. Now, over time, how has the partnership between the UNICEF, the Brno state government and other partners been strengthened to tackle the use of children in armed conflict or even as uh, child soldiers? Yes. So UNICEF has been working very closely with the government of Borno and the government of Nigeria at large on a number of issues, including uh, really advocating for the legal framework to prevent the use of, of child soldiers in conflict. And we also, in September 2022, the UN signed with the government of Nigeria the handover protocol, whereby children who are encounter in armed conflicts, when they are released, we want to make sure that they are released to the civilian governments so that we can provide them with the psychosocial support, the reintegration package. And so this is some of the areas that we have been supporting. Also, we work with the Borno governments to, to have child laws in place. And, and that those particular laws really look after the welfare of children and making sure that children are not recruited, that they are not utilized by armed groups, whether within the military or other non-state actors. So these are some of the areas that we've been working very closely with mm. the government of Nigeria. All right. So, uh, you know, all these efforts, you know, put in definitely cannot be easy. Uh, what are some of the challenges faced, especially in reintegrating these children uh, into society and how have these challenges been overcome? Yes. So, so with us, UNICEF, we really want to concentrate on the sustainable long term solution. And so in this respect, we work very closely, not only with the, the, the government, but also the communities to make sure that when children are reintegrated back into their homes and communities of origin, that, are, that they are accepted, that they are welcome to come back, that, uh, that they are provided with the necessary psychosocial support within the community as well, and to make sure that they are accepted and that the community welcome them as children with the rights of any other child to have education, to have psychosocial support, protection, shelter, food, health, water sanitation. So we really work closely with social workers of the government, as well as religious and community leaders to make sure that these children are welcome with open arms, accepted, loved, and to be provided with the basic services that they all need. All right. Uh, well, thank you so much, Fong uh, Nguyang, for joining me on the news and speaking on uh, your efforts to uh, help integrate these child soldiers back into the society. We appreciate you for your time.
My pleasure. Thank you very much.